Hey guys, so I did some research into this guy, Andre Yanyuk, and he is very wealthy. He lives in California. He is probably the most wealthy Magic Gathering cheater, and he shows you what you can accomplish by cheating in Magic. It's really, really inspiring. I know that uh, without him being caught cheating in Magic, he probably would not have played Hearthstone and become as famous as he later would become. This 26-year-old is very successful, and he's done it on Hearthstone. But before he was a Hearthstone player, he played Magic and was caught and suspended for 18 months cheating. He um, openly admit and wrote an article that has been deleted, but I found the article. I, I remember reading the article he wrote, and it was very salty. So for me to make the connection and for him to be where he is today, I felt it would be historically important to read and have a copy of this article. That way, uh, it it's recorded what he said about the magic community. So who is he? He's owner of the esports organization Temple Storm, which owns teams and gaming games, including Hearthstone, Hills of the Storm, and Overwatch. He was recently paid to promote MTG Arena as well, paid thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars to promote a game who he, he, as we will later find out, really hates the Magic community. So he sold his successful all-Brazilian Counter-Strike team to Immortals, which lost its League of Legends team. RIP Immortals League of Legends. So, he is a Hearthstone player from the United States, currently owner and player on of Tempo Storm. Renard first made his name in TCG Magic the Gathering, where he was known as a fierce and strong competitor. That's one way to put it. He was later banned for 18 months of cheating and then retired from the Magic community until recently, until Wizard of the Coast came back, got on its knees, and begged him to return. Let me repeat that again. Wizard of the Coast begged this guy with money, paid him money to return to the game of Magic, even though he got cheated, and as we will later see, rips the Magic community to pieces. I'm so glad that I found this article because I vaguely remember it existing, but obviously you know like i want to show you proof and what proof is better than from the horse's mouth so when i make wedge videos tolarian videos pico videos they're just screenshots of evidence right it's not like i'm reading something that i made up for them no like frank videos those are screenshots of the text messages he sent to and he didn't deny it these are not denials these are in his own words in alex's own words he feels this way about the community and in terms of like who the bigger cheater is I would say that Alex is the bigger cheater because I mean what other quote professional sports end quote would someone who got caught and banned two times ever return I mean can anyone name a situation where someone was banned not obviously he cheated multiple times he was banned two times in baseball they ban you for life in every other sport i'm pretty sure they ban you for life as well they ban sterling the clipper owner from coming to even a game even watching a game on any nba so let's read what he wrote as some of you already know i was suspended by the dci on tuesday so again this is andre yanyak who is a very very famous person I was suspended by DC on Tuesday following my PTQ win in March. The details are written later in the article for those interested. I don't want my suspension to be the primary focus of this. I wonder why. But I recognize a lot of you are curious about it, so I'll go over the thoughts. Since no part of me plans to be part of this community in the future, I guess I don't have to censor myself either. That photo that you saw of Censor, uh, he, he made that own photo of him. I didn't make that photo. He did. A lot of you will be pretty upset with me while reading this as a result. But trust me, read it. When I got an email telling me I was suspended, it was for three months after the DQ that caused it. 
It was no one's fault but my own, and I did what anyone would do in my position, post a status on Facebook and Twitter to let people know what happened. Done with the game because unreasonably lengthy suspension and done everything I can to give Troy Thompson my invite. Here's hoping. So what happened here was he cheated. He admits that he cheated and he wanted to give his invite to my buddy who finished second. Let me repeat that again. He admittedly cheated and he wants to give the invite to the person he cheated who is also his friend. I don't understand how that makes sense to anyone, but okay, cool. So now like a bunch of talentless blank heads, none of whom spoke with me in their once in their lives were quick to call me the scum of the earth and rejoice in the suffering of others, which would be his suffering, right? Who's the others in this? His mom? Anyway, this clearly has inspired him to become an awesome Hearthstone player. Because he is one of the best. And I will grant you that. That Hearthstone obviously is a digital game. So you can't cheat like he was cheating here. Because it's a digital game. And that is where magic will probably go in the future. There's just too many cheaters in a paper game for it to make... I mean, it makes a lot more sense if Magic moves digitally because then you cannot cheat just like League of Legends or something like that. It would be more difficult. So, Cedric Phillips, you have to retweet the good things that happen in life. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Wah, wah, wah. Take your ball and go home. Happy little cheaters aren't wanted in MTG. Try cycling or something. Will the community miss a cheater, cheating scumbag? All your tweets display a very poor character. Good riddance. Stay classy, Twitter. Of course, none of this was new to me. I had already been dealing with Twitch.tv chat for eight months. If you aren't familiar with that, what that entails, 25% of it is asking if I like men. 25% of it was being told I like men. 45% of me was calling me an idiot and not naturalizing stuffy doll and 5% was civil discourse in English. After all this time, I feel like I have a decent understanding of where all of the animosity comes from. If nothing, I'm nothing if not codependent sociopathic narcissist, which I'm sure doesn't come across well to some of you. A lot of the MTG fan base also happens to be socially inept men in their mid 30s and 40s while getting frustrated seeing that bl that twilight looking blank be 50 times a the player they are in a the game. And of course some uh, quotes from Alex. I've known Alex for a long time. So man, imagine being like a successful Hearthstone player, one of the most and this is how you treat magic, the magic community. And then after having Wizard Coast beg you to come back, plea you, throw cash at you. Wedge McJr. Cheeseburger, I mean, he's right to be mad here because Wizard and Coast, instead of sponsoring players that have dedicated their, you know, and done it the right way. There are players that I, I can list, but they probably don't want me to list them because then they would be associated with this channel, um, that I think have done it the right way. Never been caught for cheating. Never has been suspected for cheating. And your local f and is a microcosm of it. It's the dude who brings pizza for everyone. That's the dude that every GameStop store should have. It's the dude who buys pizza and then gives it to everyone to eat. Um, and, you know, maybe he doesn't make as much money as everyone there. But uh, he's a, he builds the community. Uh, people are happy to see him. He lets people borrow the cards. Even when people steal from him, he's happy. This is not what we're dealing with right now. What we are dealing with right now is someone who had nothing to lose because this was honestly how he felt. He admitted cheating and he goes on a rampage, an absolute Rampage, and I love, I love that this article exists for this particular successful Hearthstone player because, man, it just defines everything that's wrong with the Magic community, uh, the mentality, why you believe you deserve to cheat, um, and he does. He 100% believes that 
believes that he should be able to cheat you, casual player. Uh, ban Tartawall for what for when he did the same exact thing for the TCG player Invitational 2011. I assume if player A commits rule infraction X and gets punishment Y, player B committing X would also get Y. My mistake. This is from Andre Yanuk. If Bertrini gets a ban exp- extension because of some 50 viewer stream he did, how long will Ospi get for it? So the cheater mindset is not to say that, oh, I got caught cheating. I apologize. You know, here's all the times I cheated uh, without you knowing and I wasn't caught. The mentality is now to blame everyone else for cheating. And it's very easy in magic because everyone cheats. There are no closets without skeletons, right? Um, Tolarian wedge. Um, FYI. There's a lot of things that when you look at it in real life, like if someone gets caught stealing, they can't then go ahead and say, well, look at all these other people who have stole and not ca- not went to jail. Why didn't you catch them? There's people on Wall Street who stole a million dollars and a billion dollars. Why are they not in jail? So because that one dude in Wall Street, Jamie Dimon, he bankrupted his company but made millions, hundreds of millions of dollars and he's not in jail, why should I be in jail for stealing? I only stole something for $4 at Booster Pack. So... Uh, The mentality of cheaters is not to admit that anything was wrong or they did something incorrect. It's to blame everyone else for cheating as well. In this case, he does have a point. Uh, He makes vivid remarks on certain players. And this is, I mean, I love this article for the sheer fact it begins by him stating that he no longer wants to be part of the community. So he's not going to censure himself. He's going to just rampage across the community and destroy as much as he can on his way out and now he's back <laughs> not only is he back he got invited back with money they paved his ro- they paved the road for him to come back into magic arena you think wizard of coast cares about cheating you think they care about cheating well you got to read more um this is a very interesting article you can watch the video a few times pause it read what from his own language, what he's saying, his own language, and you'll get it. I mean, it all makes a lot more sense now. These people are entitled to win. They are given, they are, they cannot lose. So you as a casual player have no chance against the Alexes or the Yanyaks of the, you cannot beat them. The reason you cannot beat these people is very simple. They will cheat you and they will feel good about it. And when they get caught cheating, instead of having showing real simp, instead of showing remorse, you know, like, uh, an, so a psychopath, one of the defining features of a psychopath, which he says he's a narcissist sociopath is that they don't understand why something is bad. Um, they don't understand if why something that feels good to them is actually bad for society. So maybe they kill someone, uh, they stab them, and that makes them feel good. What they don't understand is being stabbed does not feel great. And we saw that in the previous video, and we see this in the mentality right now, where I love playing great magic. Well, how do you cheat or define great magic? Great magic in your definition is defined as you winning and knowing that you're going to win because if you don't win, you can cheat. So what if I gave you a circumstance where I, I told you, go to the World Series of Poker and I guarantee you, no matter how crappy you pay, play, you're going to win. That would be great poker for you, right? Wouldn't you consider yourself really, really good at poker at that point in time? Like, yeah, it would be great if you just won by cheating. But it sucks for everyone that you cheated. And that's the empathy. So when Alex came back from his first ban, the first thing he said on publicly on Star City Games website was, did you miss me? And when he asked what his favorite card was, he said, explore. And explore was his most famous cheat caught on camera of all time. 
is this someone who is remorseful? Is this someone who's showing empathy? Is this someone who understands that like that person he cheated that admitted on ca that said on camera, oh, he didn't cheat. He looks like an absolute ass. And every time the two explorers happens, like is mentioned, I think about what a loser that dude is. Just like the Dan Ward thing. I mean, I could make a whole documentary on that one dude and the comments to me that he made on my YouTube channel, which clearly showed that he was cheating. And then six months later, he was suspended for cheating at a team event, nonetheless. I mean, at some point in time, you are who you associate yourself with, right? I think, uh, what was his name? Craig Wesco was on that team? Was it? Dan Ward. Let me check. Someone really famous was on that team, and I know that they know that he, Dan Ward was a cheater. There's no way. Um, who else was on his team? It was a team event. Let's go take a look. Uh, cheating at this high level, butt cracks, yes, butt cracks. Every time someone gets suspended, we talk about the butt crack dude who got suspended for a long time for butt cracks. He got butt, He got suspended for 18 months. Um, who else did he get? Meddling maids. Okay, Dan Ward, I cast, man. <laughs> it's pretty funny stuff, but anyway, it's not that big of a deal to most people because cheating happens all the time. And that's why I, I really recommend if you're a casual player, don't go to high level events, find a community at your local game store, make sure that like they're not playing for like very, like a pre-release, at least in Houston, is a terrible place to go because everyone's cheating all the time. So, because the prize payout is very high, it's new cards and it's, you know, the highest it will be, that's how they attract people. Go to like a super casual event where everyone throws in $5 and then they get a booster pack back and the prize pool is like a dollar a person or $2 a person. So the there's not really incentive to cheat because what are you gonna win? Like $10 and like a gift card? And to meet friends that way. I think once you get to these higher level, quote, higher earnings, you just, uh, it's impossible for you not to play a cheater at some point in time. Anyway, bye guys.